Hello again, everyone. Down in the shop today, and here in central Kentucky, spring is just around the corner. We've had a few 60 and 70 degree days. Uh, not today, it's about 35 outside right now, but mowing's going to be starting here pretty quick. So today I'm going to be getting the John Deere Z zero turn ready to go for the season. Uh, I bought this mower right at a year ago. I think it was March 29th of 2021. And I'm going to go ahead and, and do a spring oil change with filter. Not only will we change the oil in the mower, oil in the oil filter, we're, we're also going to put a new fuel filter in. I'll just check the air filters. I'm sure they're probably still okay. Uh, 75 hours or so on this mower, so I haven't mowed any really dusty areas, and I'm sure they're still fine. We'll check them out just to be sure and clean them if we need to. And then we'll go over the grease fittings, make sure they've got plenty of grease in them. We may give it a little washing off before we start mowing with it this season. So, what do you say? Let's get started. This is a Model Z930M and does have the Kawasaki engine. Uh, your engine may be different. I want to kind of familiarize myself with how this oil drains out. Uh, this is the oil pressure sensor. And this is actually the valve that drains the oil out. And you attach a hose to the bottom of the valve right here. Of course, put your drain pan underneath the mower. And then you just open this valve, and that will drain the oil out. There's the oil filter. But first, we want to start the mower up and let it run just a few minutes. That'll warm the oil up and be easier to drain out. We'll get more of it out of there when we do drain it. And in checking my operator's manual under capacities, uh, we have a, here's our model Z930M. And it looks like it holds 2.4 quarts. Now I went back to the dealer where I bought the mower and my tractor. Good folks to deal with, and stopped by there and got what we needed to do this oil change. There's our oil filter. And we got three quarts of oil. We'll need about two and a half, but got enough there to fill it up. And there's a new fuel filter. I've had the mower outside and had it running for a few minutes, so we're ready to ready to drain the oil out and get this oil change taken care of. All right, I have just a little plastic hose hooked up to the drain valve, running down to the catch can. Kind of surprised that oil's pretty pretty black for just 75 hours, but probably a good thing that we're changing it. Here's the end of the valve that you unscrew, and see it's got a little O-ring on the end of it there that seals it back up once all the oil's drained out. And we're still draining, so we'll give it a few more minutes to get it all out. Yeah, I could have put that drain pipe down in the can itself, but just wanted to show you that it is draining out. So that's why it's running on top there a little bit. That won't hurt anything. That'll run down in there eventually. The name of the game is patience. We'll just make sure everything's drained out. This filter's super small, so even with my filter wrench all the way in, It worked, but it's 
kind of hard to get a hold of. And the way this frame is designed, there is a dip right here. I think you can see it. So if you do get all of this dripping off up here, it will go to this area and then go ahead and drip down on the pan. So I hand tightened it and then I went about a half a turn more. So that should keep it from leaking. Won't be any problem there. And then we marked the filter, March 22. So that reminds me when I did change the oil and put a filter in this. Yep, still a little bit coming out. So we'll be patient. So while we're letting the rest of the oil drain, I did get a new fuel filter. So let's get it put on. And you can see it right there, it just has little crimp clamps, you just crimp them together, right, crimp that part right there together and it'll slide off. So let's get that done. And you do want to pay attention, make sure you put the filter on in the right direction. You can see the arrow right there. So the arrow goes towards the engine. And on the new filter, uh, we've got an arrow right there. Kind of hard to see, but there is an arrow that's pointing that way, so this end goes toward the engine. And we just crimp them together, slide it back. slide her clamp back on where it belongs. Like that. A little big bit of gas left in the old filter. And again we'll make sure we're slid up against the as far as it will go. And slide the hose clamp back on. Quite a bit smaller than the old one. And I'm sure this filter's still fine, but hey, for three or four dollars, why not change it too when you're doing an oil change? The oil has quit, so let's put our plug back in. And we just snug it up. It is plastic, so you don't want to overdo it. One more wiping down, get any excess oil out of the way. All right, looks pretty good. So now let's put some oil in. Uh, 2.4 quarts, so here's our oil filler. Got us a good wide funnel, so hopefully we won't spill any. And here's the oil I'm using. It is original John Deere oil, Turf Guard, four cycle, and it's a 10W30. With a large funnel like this, it'll tend to back up that tube and then you'll have a spill. So we're just pouring it in slow. Right, that's the second quart. We need about four tenths of a quart more. So I'm going to pour some in and I'll check. And I do have a gauge here on the side, clear gauge right here. So I can kind of tell when I've got a half a quart in. Okay, that's pretty close to having enough oil in. So we're going to start it up now and let that oil circulate through the filter and then we'll check it and add more if needed.
okay oil level is full uh, no leaks I let it run for a few minutes see no leaks uh, fuel filter no leaks on it so we're good there so we should be ready for mowing season Probably be in the next couple of days. It's supposed to get up, I think, 80 degrees tomorrow. We may give it just a little trim then. Grass is not growing a lot yet, but it's kind of shaggy looking. So we, we might just mow some of the top off to make it look smoother. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Pretty simple maintenance job that we did. Changing the oil in the Z930M along with the fuel filter and before I finish I will check those grease fittings and make sure that they've got plenty of grease in them I'll look at the belts I'm sure they're fine because mower only has 75 hours on it so I don't think we got any problems there but thanks for watching see you next time we hope you've enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button, and we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.